Shalom, shalom. Shalom. Yeah, it's a lot here. It's a lot here for the little technical difficulties. It's going to be part two of the camp lesson here. All right, so just going to continue on flowing. All right. You got it. This is going to be a reading here from Isaiah 41 and verse 9. Thou whom I have taken from the ends of the earth and called thee from the chief men thereof and said unto thee, Thou art my servant, I have chosen thee and not cast thee away. Mm -hmm. That's right, man. So I have taken thee from the ends of the earth, right? So our people being scattered abroad. Done, done. Right? Being scattered, but, you know, the, the gathering of uh, the Israelites, you know, mm -hmm. from the ends of the earth, man. Yep. When Yahweh Shai returns, man. Mm -hmm. Starting with the elect in that, that one third remnant. Mm -hmm. Being yep. brought back together, man, and being placed in, in the Holy Land. Yep, yep. That's right, man. Thou art my servant, right? I have chosen thee, right? So it's not of yourself, right? It's predestined from the foundations of the world and not cast thee away, right? So though we are being chastised or being punished here in the land of our captivity, man, so on and so forth, right? We are not utterly destroyed, right? right. The remnant, the hopeful elect will be given salvation God, here in these God, latter days. God, and that's for the, the most high's name's sake, you know? Yep. His name's sake, we are that's not right. utterly destroyed. That's right. For my holy name's sake, exactly. The holy name of Yahweh. Bahasham Yahawasha, mm -hmm. the true names of the Heavenly Father in the Paleo Hebrew tongue, as well as his only begotten Son. Yahawah, meaning he is, he to be, he exists. Bahasham in the name of his only begotten Son, Yahawasha, which means he is salvation. He is the deliverer. That's right. Going to come to deliver the remnant, the elect, and you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, Haitians, West Indians, and Israelite foreigners that are scattered abroad, being the 12 tribes of Israel, coming from the seed line of our forefather Jacob through Abraham and Isaac. This is uh, Isaiah 41 and 10. Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy power. I will strengthen thee, yet I will help thee. Yet I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Woo. That's right. Yeah, I was shy of being the, the Lord's right hand, you know? Yep. The Adam one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was right hand being Yahweh shy. Mm -hmm. That's right. And uh, you, you know, uh, Yahweh Shai said, I will not leave you comfortless. Mm -hmm. I'll leave you with the, the Holy Spirit. Yep. Exactly. You know, that's the, the Holy Spirit that's with the hopeful elect right now, man. Mm hmm. Exactly. Because what our, our people, right? Jacob being likened into a worm, right? You know, fear not, Jacob, thy worm, right? Being defenseless, mm -hmm. right? So that's why, because it says the same verse, Isaiah 41 to 10, for I am with thee, mm -hmm. right? The right hand of his righteousness being God. Hamashiach Yahushai, as the Akbar just mentioned. That's right, man. The Adawan looking over, watching over the elect, man. Yep. You know, what does it say? That not uh, a hair on off the head shall uh, turn. Yep, God. God. That's what right. Yep. God, but also uh, maybe think of uh, that verse, maybe think of, what is it, Isaiah 33 and 6. Down. And while the brother pulls that up, just can you can elaborate more on that verse where it says, For I am thy power, I will strengthen thee. Right? Because we're gonna need that strength, man, both in body and in spirit and in, in your mind, right? Here in these latter days, continuously seeing heavy judgments befall the earth, and, right? And what what happens um with fear, you know? Yep. Um uh, I think there's a reading on the definition of fear mm -hmm. in uh, the book of Sirach. I forget what which verse. Uh -huh. But um but yeah, man. We, the fear, we fear the Adawan, but we also won't have fear, we'll have faith because we know what to expect, man. Yep. We know the prophecies. We know what's uh, bound to happen, man. Yep. Yeah. Absolutely right, because the Heavenly Father is not giving us up under fear, right? So, yeah. The spirit of fear. That's right. It's more of a sound mind, a complete mind, because we know the prophecies, man. Yep. We know that the word of the Adawan is going to stand, man, and all these things will come to pass. So, we're seeing them before our eyes, man, and it, those are uh, actually boost our faith, man. Yep. They give us strength. Kind of, kind of, absolutely. And that, that's a beautiful point, Ak, because when all these things are befalling the earth, right, you're going to see continuous, what, more and more train derailments, right? You're going to see more, quote unquote, uh, you know, natural disasters, which yeah, are visitations right. of the earth. Food scarcity, yep. uh, you know, more violence, right? Yep. Drought, violence, right? Mm -hmm. Sedition amongst men, people killing each other, invading each other's homes for lack of bread and great tribulation, God. as the scriptures speak of, right? You know? When, when in Babylon, America, it looks like the purge out here, race wars, riots, right? Women being ravished, you know, so on and so forth, right? We're going to be, you know, as the scripture also speak of, uh, I think the brother's going to pull it out, right? Having that stability. Why? Because things are going to be very unstable, right? We're living at the end of the world here, right? And again, 
Babylon America, right? As soon as we see that RFID microchip come in with the CBDCs, no more fiat currency, no more dollar bills, no more coins. It's all gonna be digital. That RFID microchip is the mark of the beast pursuant to Revelation chapter 13. You take that chip, that's your ass, all right? So for you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, you better repent to the Holy One of Israel, being Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, if you wanna pray for salvation and repent. What does repent mean? To return to, return to your power. Right? Not the Caesar Borgia character, okay? That they have in the plantation Christianity, your Roman Catholicism, so on and so forth. Nah, man. Return to the true powers of the heaven and earth. Go on, go ahead, God. Let's lock it. Uh, Isaiah 33 and verse 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy time, mm -hmm. and strength of salvation. Mm -hmm. The fear of the Adawan, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, is his treasure. Yep. That's right, man. So that wisdom and knowledge of the most high not the knowledge of this world man the wisdom and knowledge that comes from the word of Yahweh Shai, man yep and knowing the prophecies man yep. that is the, the, the that's the thing that's gonna be uh, uh something that's gonna prolong our life but yep. that's the thing that's gonna help us obtain salvation no way mm -hmm. knowing what the mark of the MOTG is knowing what to stay away from man yep Right, what does the scripture say? Uh, roughly paraphrasing, like, wisdom of this world is foolishness with the most high. God, God. Right? So God. again, and, and uh, that term stability also goes into your faith. Right? So again, the wisdom and knowledge shall be, not maybe, shall be the stability, the God. faith of that time. God, so it's worth more than the gold, yep. worth more than any money, um, more than crypto, anything, man. Yep. This is going to be the thing, the strength of salvation, man. Yep. Done. Done. What is that in that Psalm 119? Uh, let me grab this real quick. Yeah, come. Psalm 119. And we'll start at 71 just for more context. Psalm 119 is 71. It is good for me that I have been afflicted, that I may learn thy statutes. Right? So being uh, able to be abased, being able to abound. Right? Okay? Being humble. Becoming to the Heavenly Father is only begotten son with meekness, with humility. As the scriptures say, the meek shall inherit the earth. Verse 72. The law of thy mouth is better unto me than thousands of gold and silver. That's right. So this word, this this knowledge of the wisdom of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, right? The law, statutes, and commandments are better than any any carnal resource that you could ever attain, right? Gold, silver, food, resources, you name it, right? Crypto, crap, currency, so on and so forth, right? All of it's for naught. All of it's vain, right? Get for that man can't wait for that nonsense to be through right. right but anyways let's get back to the point here again this is invaluable these things that are profitable truly profitable that pertain to salvation right. that pertain unto everlasting life that pertain unto Yahweh Bashi Yahweh Shai uh, oh, this is, uh, you know true power man that we're seeking yep. you know under Yahweh Bashi Yahweh Shai yep you know yeah. This is uh, the ultimate, uh, you know, life here, man. Yep. This is life, you know. Mm -hmm. our, our life is awaiting with you. How about you outside, man? Our true lives. God. Mm -hmm. God, you know, real quick, Bobby Shaw, let me also pull up a reading from uh, Isaiah chapter 43. I'll start at the top in verse 1. It says, But now thus saith Ha'adawan Yahweh that created thee, O Jacob, and he that formed thee, O Israel, Yahshua Allah, fear not, for I have redeemed thee. I have called thee by thy name. Thou art mine, right? A possession, right? We belong unto the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, right? That redemption, right, is bought with the blood of our, our Lord and Savior, Hamashiach Yahweh the only begotten Son of the Heavenly Father, right? Continuing on, it says, When thou passest through the waters, I will be with thee, and through the rivers, they shall not overflow thee. When thou walkest through the fire, thou shalt not be burned, neither shall the flame kindle upon thee. That's right, man, because this, um, that straight gate, man, Yep. you know, it's likened them to a, a you know, fire on one side, man, and, and, and ocean waters, deep waters on the other. Yep. God, I believe that's what, 2nd Ezra chapter 7? God, right? Man. So, exactly, that's a straight and narrow path, right? Straight being a, a position of difficulty, S-T-R-A-I-T, right? God. So, again, a position of difficulty, man, one, enough uh, room where one man may go at that time. God, and uh, I believe, uh, you know, this walk that we're walking is also uh, known as a fire trial. God, you know? God, that's right, man. It's a, it's a difficult walk. Yep. Mm -hmm. 
So continuing on in verse 3. For I am a Adawan Yahweh, thy power, the Holy One of Israel, thy Savior. I gave Egypt for thy ransom, Ethiopia and Seba for thee. Since thou was precious in my sight, thou hast been honorable. And I have loved thee. Therefore will I give men for thee and people for thy life. That's right, man. So many are going to perish, right? Of these other nations, right? Of the two thirds of our own nation for that much as well, right? You know, the Heavenly Father has a remnant, the elect, that are ultimately going to be, uh, you know, restoring the kingdom under our Lord and Savior, under King David and the kingdom, through the power of the Heavenly Father, right? So again, so those uh, other nations, right, that perish, right? Speaking of Egypt and, and all the other nations that will perish and go into captivity here in these latter days, he saw of Edom, right? The progenitor of the Edomites, so on and so forth, right? So they were given up for our people, right? For the kingdom to come. For his only begotten son, who will inherit all things, as the scriptures say, right? So in verse uh, Isaiah 43 and verse 5, Fear not, for I am with thee. I will bring thy seed from the east and gather thee from the west. I will say to the north, give up, and to the south, keep not back. Bring my sons from far and my daughters from the end of the earth. Right, which goes into the salvation, which goes into the, the election, right? The remnant being saved through the what? The chariots of the holy of the holy angels, right? The vessels mm -hmm. of salvation, right? Yep, yep. That's yep. the that's the true salvation, man. That's being redeemed, man. Yep. So God. none of us are saved yet, man. We're waiting on our savior. We're yep. waiting on Yahweh Shai man. Yep, that's right. Waiting on our Lord and Savior. Because again, the diaspora being dispersed, right? Our people being scattered across the four winds through different forms of slavery, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, continuing on, it says, Everyone that is called by my name, for I have created him for my glory. My glory, right? My glory. To glorify Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, those right. holy names, right? It says, I have formed him, yea, I have made him. Right, so we give praise unto Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, right, the creator of the heavens and the earth, right, and ultimately, again, all things to exalt and extol the names of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, right? To extol means to praise enthusiastically. Okay. Isaiah 41 and verse 11. Behold, behold, all they that were incensed against thee shall be ashamed and confounded. They shall be as nothing, and they that strive with thee shall perish. Mm -hmm. That's right. So behold, all they that were incensed against thee, and that term incensed goes into being uh, angered, right? Being roused up to anger. Right? Against thee shall be ashamed and confounded. And the term confounded also going into disgraced, confused without answer. That's right. When they realize what they have done to the servants of Yahweh, Hashem, Yahushai, and the Israelites, right? Yep. The so-called Negroes, the Native Americans, Latinos, the seed of, of Jacob, man. Yep, that's you right. Know, us that have been put in this low place, this condition that we're in. Yep. These other heathen nations are going to realize that they touched the, the apple of the Lord's eye, man. Gone, gone. Mm -hmm. Exactly, as it continues on, right? They shall be as nothing, and they that strive with thee shall perish. Right, so those who are striving against the remnant, the elect, that's against right. our Lord and Savior, that's against right. the Heavenly Father, all of them will perish, right? Mm -hmm. One way or another, or be the first fruits of captivity, right? Okay. So, you know, real quick, Bob Michel, let me also tie in, uh, we tie in the book of Zechariah. Because again, we're coming into a time where the Heavenly Father is going to continue to bestow, what, signs and tokens. And ultimately, in the latter days, uh, a restoration, if you will, of that spiritual power. This is the book of Zechariah. This is the book of Zechariah, chapter 12, and verse 1. That says, The burden of the word of Ha'adawan Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahushai, for Israel, for Yahshua Allah. And that term burden means an oracle or a prophecy, right? It says, Saith Ha'adawan Yahweh, which stretcheth forth the heavens and layeth the foundation of the earth and formeth the spirit of man within him. Behold, I will make Jerusalem, Yahweh Shalom, a cup of trembling unto all the people round about when they shall be in the siege both against Judah, Yahweh, and Jerusalem. And in that day will I make Jerusalem a burdensome stone for all people, all these other nations, right? All that burden themselves with it 
shall be cut in pieces, though all the people of the earth be gathered together against it. That's right, man. So these other nations that are going to gather, you know, for to, to make war with the remnant, right, of her seed, as the scriptures say, right, speaking of the Hebrew Israelites, the remnant, the elect, right, all of the 12 tribes of Israel, okay, and and the lamb, right, and Hamashiach Yahweh himself, while the holy angels, right, okay, now that cup of trembling, okay, is going to go into a, a, a cup of drunkenness, if you will, right, because why, again, that goes back into being ashamed, confounded, right, and ultimately put down, smitten, right, so again, man, the Heavenly Father is going to bestow those powers unto his remnant, the elect, the house of David, right? Dawada, which means beloved, right? right. The tabernacle of David. And the 144,000 that make up the governing body under King David, under Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai, through the powers of the Heavenly Father, of course. Okay. So you know that. Just, to, you know, in that Zechariah 12, that's a powerful chapter. Well, just, you know, I'll keep it there just to hit the point. But uh, yeah, that, that's Zechariah 12. That's a heavy, that's a powerful chapter. As are many of the scriptures, of course. But yeah, go ahead, I think that. Uh, this is Isaiah 41 and verse 12. 12. Thou shalt seek them and shalt not find them. Even them that contend with thee, they that war against thee shall be as nothing and a thing. And as a thing of naught. Mm -hmm. That's right, man. So nowhere to be found, man. Yep. You know? Once this place is destroyed, mm -hmm. you know, America's no longer gonna be on the map. Mm -hmm. You know, uh these people that were in power, you're not gonna be able to recognize them anymore, man. Mm -hmm. You know? They're gonna be put back in, in their condition, man, or, or even worse, you know? Yep. Put back in a low state mm -hmm. because of their their unrighteous dealings, man. Mm -hmm. Them having to pay that, uh, what is it? The, the Lord's going to get his uh, vengeance, man. Yep. You know? That indignation being righteous anger or a recompense. They're going to get right? that double cup, you know? Yep. That, that portion, man. Yep, that's right. The double portion, yep. For mm -hmm. him to give unto her double for all, yeah, you know, right. Revelation purpose. 18. God, that's yeah, it, that's right, man. These devils got a lot to pay for, man. That's right. And, uh, you know, they the war against thee, man. So, all these uh, nations, man, all the... Um, you know, these people that are the elites, they're going to come against the, the prophets of Yahweh Bashim Yahshua more and more, man. Yep. You know, they're yeah. going to come against this word uh, and take it from uh, being uh, readily available, man. You know, that famine of the word, which is going to come. Uh, you know, you already see them. See that more and more, right? With this misinfo, disinfo, right? The uh, the Canadian government, right? Trudeau recently passing the the C11 bill up in Canada, right? And also things that have been passed uh, recently over in Ireland, right? So you're going to continue to see different forms of these uh, policies and changes, right? Through mainstream media and streaming platforms and so on and so forth, right? And ultimately could could trickle down to your to your own personal devices, whether it be your laptop, your cell phone so on and so forth man uh, right so to be continued right we all we all know the uh, uh the the you know the uh capabilities that the government was allotted themselves through uh things like the patriot act uh, right so to be continued it says firm Isaiah 41 and 13 for i the other one you help us in your side thy power will hold thy right hand saying unto thee, fear not, I will help thee. Right, so fear not, again, fear none of those things, right? These wicked enchantments and devices, a device goes into a plot or a scheme, right? So all of these things, they're, they're gonna be devised against us, right? Also pursuant to Psalm 83, right? That that counsel, right? That wicked counsel, mm -hmm. okay? They're, they're cunningly, you know what I mean? That cunning hunter, okay? The fowler being Esau of Edom and all these other heathen nations that oppress and afflict the children of Israel, right? They're going to continuously plot against our people, in particular the remnant, the elect, right? So we must continue to, to uh, stand firm. I don't want to desire the Heavenly Father continues to keep us in a believing and, and, a, and a diligent, prudent spirit, all right? That's yeah. right, man. So we need that help, you know? Yeah. Like the brother said, we are, are like a like us through a worm. Yeah. So, hey, we're, we're waiting to be uh, upgraded. We're waiting for the, the 
of hours from y'all bossing y'all side for our deliveries, man. Yep. We know that we can't take uh, vengeance of our own, man. Yep. We know it belongs to y'all side. Yep, Kyle was the scripture I'll say, right? Yeah. Vengeance is mine. God, God. Right? What is that, uh, yeah. Isaiah 63? Yeah, of that garments from Bosra. Yep, Khan. Isaiah 63, yep, Khan. That's right, man. So he's coming back. And uh, Isaiah 63 and 4 in particular, right? The the, the year of vengeance. Or is it, the day of vengeance is in mine heart. And the year of mine uh, redeemed has come. Roughly paraphrasing. Right? Amen. So we're waiting on that day. Yep. yep. Absolutely. It says, uh, it says, you hold this in the Oh, no, oh, okay. Okay. This is Isaiah 41 and 14. Fear not, thou worm Jacob, and ye men of Israel. I will help thee, set the Adawan, Yahweh Bashim Shai, and thy right Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. Woo! There it goes, man. See? And I quoted it, uh, paraphrased it earlier, but yeah, that's the spirit, you know? So again, fear not, thou worm Jacob, and ye men of Israel, Yahshua Allah. And that includes your sisters as well, right? Because again, the, the remnant, the elect, right? The innumerable multitude pursuant to the book of Revelation, right? men women and children that will be saved here in these latter days right but the house of david of course the elect governing body okay would be the 144,000 12,000 men from each tribe of the 12 tribes of israel right okay, so we know that there's going to be great miracles man divine intervention we're going to see many things yep. take place here in the earth man in these latter days mm -hmm. that, yeah. that are going to prolong and, and help the elect you yep. know great miracles like we had seen in, in in the stories of our in accounts of our forefathers man yep you know whether it was uh, elijah whether you know mm -hmm. whoever it was mm -hmm. um the, the the book of the maccabees you know yep. talking about the you know the Ottoman, you know helping the army there yep um God. we're gonna see great things man come to the elect and then one third man God. absolutely man elijah Elisha. Daniel the prophet, right? We got the lion's den, right? The, of course, many yeah. miracles that took place uh, throughout, you know, the history, right? The conquest of, of the, uh, you know, the, the Holy Land, if you will, through Moses and, and our forefather Joshua, right? As well as the Maccabees, like the brother said, right? The Maccabean revolt, right? Yeah. So again, man, all those great deliverances, man. And, and of course, all the countless deliverances that, that were not even written in the scriptures, right? Yeah. And all those things were through the power of Yah Bashim Yah Shai, man. Yep. Not of our own. Yep. That's right. Absolutely. So, and, go ahead. Yeah, oh, Salah, okay, go ahead. Finish that point. I'm, I'm going to just grab a preset, but go ahead. Oh, uh, go ahead. Go okay, ahead. kind. Yeah, let me tie into that with uh, Job 25. And let me grab verse, start at verse 4. Yeah, Job 25 and 4. How then can man be justified with the Most High? Or how can he be clean that is born of a woman? Behold. Even to the moon, and it shineth not. Yea, the stars are not pure in his sight. How much less man that is a worm, and the son of man which is a worm. Right? So, all again, glorifying Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, right? Ultimately, because again, right, we are as worms, as the scriptures say, right? So, defenseless, and only through the powers of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai will those blessings, those provisions, okay, can they be bestowed upon you, right, in that time of need? Right? In that time of deliverance. Right? Because again, we cannot save ourselves. Right? You cannot do it through works of the law as certain Israelite camps may teach. Right? No, you need that through Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Washai. Point blank, period. Right? It's a combination of your faith and your works. Right? So, of course, we uphold the law to the very best of our ability. All right? Here in these latter days, there's, you know, as scripture say in the book of Sirach, right? Uh, the Heavenly Father has given no man license to sin. Right? right? So, you cannot transgress. No, absolutely not to the very best of your ability, man, and continuously seek repentance, not only for our sins in this life, but those of our past life, right? So continuously seeking repentance and salvation. How you doing? That's right, man. So, and uh, again, speaking of that worm, right? Because again, that we're defenseless, right? A worm is completely defenseless, man. And uh, also, let me go and see what the book of Psalms, just to add on to another point here, this is Psalm chapter 22. Like one moment. Yeah, God. Yeah, right. Because again, having that trust, right? Having that fear. Psalm 22 and 4. Our fathers trusted in thee. They trusted, and thou didst deliver them. Right, man. So again, the many deliverances of our forefathers and our foremothers for that much, right? You can read upon that in the book of history of Susanna in the Apocrypha, right? Where the Holy Spirit came unto Daniel. 
and Daniel tried some, uh, you know, uh, men who are falsely accusing uh, Susanna of, of adultery, right? So, continuing on now, and she was delivered, of course. All praise the Abba Shemiel Shai. Psalm 22 and verse 5. They cried unto thee and were delivered. They trusted in thee and were not confounded. But I am a worm and no man, a reproach of men and despised of the people. Right, so again, at one point in time, right, you know, King Saul, you know, aiming to kill, you know, our forefather King David, right? Okay, and ultimately coming after him and, and, and trying to, you know, take his life, right? Verse 7, all they that see me laugh at me to scorn, they shoot out the lip, they shake the head, saying, he trusted on Ha'adawan Yahweh that he would deliver him, let him deliver him, seeing he delighted in him. Right, uh, gonna be there's going to be mockers and scoffers. There's going to be scorners. There's going to be disbelievers, right? That's right, man. We uh, we're made a uh, fool for the house, I think. Yep. You know? Yeah. But hey, who's going to be the one that are, are uh, laughing in the end? Is going to be the most high, man, and the elect. Yep. The, the remnant, man. Mm -hmm. You know, when they see that these things are going to be uh, accounted for it and, and true. Yep. You know? Yeah. Right, man, and all those out of words, right? Roughly paraphrasing that, every out of word thou shalt speak, you know, shall be accounted for in the day of judgment. Mm -hmm. right? right, man. So, yeah. hey, they come and mock and scoff the prophets, man. They, they come and uh, despise the word of Yahweh Shem Yoshai and, and, you know, the message, you know, because, uh, you know, the, the prophets, those men that are out here preaching, man, making their bodies a living sacrifice, they are the, the mouthpiece of the out of one. Yep. Time. And ultimately, it's for what? It's for the betterment of our people, right? They, it pertains unto salvation. It pertains unto election. But, you know, I don't know that. Humbly speaking, right? God, God, and, and they see uh, uh, these men out here, and they try to uh, scoff and mock and talk about their condition, mm -hmm. uh, trying to uh, assume them and call them to be uh, lowly. Yep. Um, bums, whatever you want to, whatever, you know, term that they want to use, man. But mm -hmm. ultimately, they're marking themselves, man. Right? Yep. John, absolutely right. The holy angels are carrying up the report every mm -hmm. single moment of every single day, mm -hmm. and the heavenly Father knows our thoughts as well, right? Hey, that's so right. There's no escaping that judgment. Yeah, that's right, man. They mock the, the heavenly Father by mocking his men. Yep. You know? John, they they try to mock uh, the prophets, man, and, and talk about, hey, if you're uh, if you're a servant of, of the Most High, then then why are you this? Why that? Yep. You know, and mm -hmm. they're they're questioning the Ottawa man. Yep. John, exactly. Right, and again, we, his, his thoughts are higher than our thoughts, right? We, we cannot seek his understanding, right? Okay, there's no seeking of his understanding pursuant to the book of Isaiah, right? Uh, Roughly paraphrasing. Uh, or no searching of his understanding. It's not There's no searching of his understanding. Right. This is going to be Isaiah 41 and 15. Behold, I will make thee a new sharp threshing instrument having teeth. Thou shalt thresh the mountains and beat them small and shalt make the hills as chaff. Ooh. That's right, man. So that threshing instrument having teeth uh, going into uh, the Hebrew of uh, mouths, man. You know, the, the men out here prophesy, man. Mm -hmm. You know, us coming to our, our knowledge of who we are and that understanding, man. You know, being made uh, quickened, you know. Yep. Having that breath of life back in, into the, the remnant here, man. Right, man. So thou shalt thresh the mountains and beat them small and shalt make the hills as chaff. Speaking of these, uh, a representation of these governmental bodies, right. you know, military powers, right? International banking families and, and all the quote unquote powers that be, right? All these different, you know, forms or, or, of uh, government and or quote unquote establishments, right? That's right, man. So hey, that, that, that prophesying, the men out there doing the work, man. Mm -hmm. That's uh, through the power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, man, and that's a, a weapon, man, that's yep. being used to bring down this uh, wicked kingdom, man. Yep. You know, to bow against that NWO at this time as well. Yep. You know, because that NWO is ultimately leading right into the MOTV, man. Yep. That's right, man. And uh, this is uh, just a time to that real quick. This is Micah chapter 4 and verse 3. And he shall judge among many people. And rebuke strong nations afar off, and they shall beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks, 
nation shall not lift up sword against nation, neither shall they learn war anymore. Right? So, again, man, they're going to be rebuked, right? They're going to be brought down and made what? They're going to be brought into captivity. They're going to be made slaves, right? They're going to be taken. They're going to be captives, right? Right? So, again, that's what's coming, right? To the remnant, the elect, right? That's right, man. They'll the be first fruits. No more war, man. That's right. Mm -hmm. Nations shall no more, no more war. Lock it. <laughs> yep. Oh, you know what? Hey, man, that's, that's due to... Uh, you know, now Basim Yaw Shai being, uh, you know, here in establishing the kingdom, man. Yep. The, that ever, what is it, that everlasting kingdom? Mm -hmm. Yep. That uh -huh. kingdom that fadeth not away, Khan. Khan. You know what, Baba Gisha, Salakia, forgive me for that. You know, the a little, uh, little brain fart there. If this is uh, Micah 4 and 13, Salakia, that was a that was a scripture one to grab, Salakia. Micah 4 and 13, arise and thresh, O daughter of Zion. Right? So, first and foremost, the remnant, the elect, right? Rise and thresh, O daughter of Zion, for I will make thine horn iron. And that term horn goes into power, right? And I will make thy hoofs brass, and thou shalt beat in pieces many people, right? Speaking of the other biblical nations, right? Now it says right here, and I will consecrate their gain unto Ha'adawan Yahweh, and their substance unto the Lord of the whole earth, right? So all things will be given unto the remnant of the elect. To right. ultimately our Lord and Savior, Hamashiach Yahweh Shai, yeah. to the Heavenly Father. Right? So again, beat in pieces many people, 18 biblical nations. And guess what? All outside of the nation of Israel are going into captivity. And after serving their captivity, Esau of Edom, the progenitor of the biblical Edomites, are the only nation that are not going to receive mercy after serving their captivity, will be eradicated from the earth. Esau of Edom being the self proclaimed so called white man. Okay, according to the lineage of your father, not according to appearance. Isaiah 41 and 16 Thou shalt fan them And the wind shall carry them away And then And the whirlwind shall scatter them And thou shalt rejoice In the Adwan And shall glory In the Holy One of Israel Ooh. That's right man It's again right In that whirlwind right That tempest that storm Right, okay. Ultimately gonna be what? These hypersonic ICBM missiles that are gonna drop on Babylon America and that laser chariot fire, yeah. presumed to the Holy Scriptures. That's right. And you see uh, as this thing comes uh, down the down the pipe, you know, you're seeing uh, many of these even um, celebrities, you know, these uh, Edomites, whoever it is, uh, people that have money, they're recognizing these things, man. Yep. They're recognizing Babylon circling the drain right now man and they're they're talking about leaving this place many yep. of them have actually already left man gone uh -huh. to other countries yep. and you're gonna see that more and more as the uh as you know this thing gets turned up you're mm -hmm. gonna see many people uh scattering man mm -hmm. they, they they're actually gonna see that danger coming man yep god yeah you have these that uh, or what they refer to as dumbs right mm -hmm. deep underground military bases god. right dumb yeah. d-u-m-b deep underground military bases right mm -hmm. so yeah absolutely man these uh quote-unquote fallout shelters slash bomb shelters right people are investing heavily into those types of things right but ultimately that's not going to save them right and whoever again can escape that that uh destruction that judgment right they're going to be the first fruits of captivity if they're not of the nation of israel right mm -hmm. point blank period right and with that you know let me also pull up uh, the book of isaiah chapter 45 we start at verse 17. Isaiah 45 and 17. But Israel, Yosha Allah, shall be saved in Ha'adawan Yahweh with an everlasting salvation. Ye shall not be ashamed nor confounded, world without end. That's right, man. So there's no end to the world of Israel, right? That's right. Also, when we pull up the book of Ecclesiasticus, also known as Sirach, chapter 37. Well, it's like this, like one more. Yep. Uh, Ecclesiastes, Sirach 37 and 25. The days of the life of man may be numbered, but the days of Israel are innumerable. That's right, man. Innumerable. That's right, man. So there's no end to them. Point blank, period. 
everlasting salvation, right? It says, you shall not be confounded world without end, right? Because those who are found within this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, right, are going to be able to, you know, what does the scripture also say, right? Uh, in fact, here, let me just go ahead and grab it. Don't talk about it, be about it, right? Because like the ox said earlier, right? Having this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, okay? is going to allow us to to be preserved here in these latter days and allow us to remain stable when all hell breaks loose here in babylon america right. when it looks like the purge right Man, no police right no uh what, what is it what's the term uh, ems emergency medical services right, right. power grids shut down that's so right. on and so forth it's going to be a uh, pure anarchy man that's right you know that's right first john 2 and 20 but ye have an unction from the holy one and ye know all things that's right. So we know that all hell is going to break loose pursuant to the book of Second Ezra, right? You can go into many different scriptures, okay? Again, men killing each other, right? Invading each other's homes, right? For lack of bread and great tribulation, right? Right, right? So all these things are going to befall Babylon America right. before it's so utterly destroyed. Kind of perilous times, right? They that's all what, must come, man. Yep. And uh, that's what that's what the importance is of uh, preaching, man. Mm -hmm. Of going out there and making this known because... We got many of our people that only listen to uh, uh, lies, man, the smooth things, mm -hmm. you know? Yep. Being yeah. deceived, man, by, by most of these uh, churches out there, man. Mm -hmm. You yeah. know, out there uh, prophesying, uh, you know, peace, preaching peace. Mm -hmm. Yep, that prosperity doctrine, mm -hmm. that's right, man. That's preaching right. peace, man, these pork chop eating pastors, yep. right? So on and so forth, Bishop Baloney, right? right? But going back to that First John 2 and 20, it says, but ye have an unction from the Holy One. Right, and that term unction goes into an anointing, right? So, okay, so Mashiach meaning anointed, or Hamashiach meaning the anointed, which speaks of our Lord and Savior, or Mashiachia, which is plural for anointed, right? Thus speaking of the remnant, the elect, right? Okay, so again, we have that uh, the unction and anointing from the Holy One, and we know all things, right? And that's pertaining to the scriptures, this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, once again, being able to measure the times diligently, walk circumspectly right so on and so forth okay going back to isaiah chapter 45 and verse 18 for thus saith the adawan yahweh that created the heavens the power himself that formed the earth and made it he hath established it he created it not in vain he formed it to be inhabited i am the adawan yahweh the lord and there is none else i have not spoken in secret in the dark place of the earth i have not so like it, I said not unto the seed of Jacob, right? The seed of Jacob, speaking of Israel, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Seek ye me in vain? No. So he, we were not commanded to seek the Heavenly Father in vain. I, I don't want Yahweh speak righteousness. I declare things that are right. Right? So again, those things that are right, okay? Those things that are right and perfect, right? Now, continuing on, so like it for that. And verse 20, assemble yourselves and come, draw near together, ye that are escaped of the nations. Got right? it, got it, hey, you got the whole ministry coming together, man. You yep. got the hopeful elect that are all coming together to this one thing, man, mm -hmm. being this gospel, man. Yep. Being the good news unto Israel, man. Mm -hmm. You know? That's right. It says, and you've seen, uh, uh, you know, this thing being preached, uh, this word being preached all across the earth, man. That's right. That's a beautiful thing, right? That's biblical prophecy. This word shall be preached across the uh, the, the entire world, God, and then the end shall come. God, that's the that, uh, the two sticks, you know, mm -hmm. being risen up, you know, that's that right. tabernacle of David being built up. Yep. Uh -huh. All right. It says here, uh, again in Isaiah 45 and 20, assemble yourselves and come, and come, draw near together, ye that are escaped of the nations. They have no knowledge that are set up the what? Of the graven image and pray unto a power, a God that cannot save. Right? So they have no knowledge, right? Okay, they're, they're giving themselves up to idols of wood and stone. Right? That's right. Tell ye and bring them near. Yay. Tell ye and bring them near. Yea, Let them take counsel together who have declared this from ancient time. Who hath told it from that time? Have not I, Hadawan, Yahweh, the Lord? And there is no power, no God else beside me. A just power, a just God, and a Savior. There is none beside me. Right? The Holy One of Israel. Point blank period. The one true living power. 
right? All the other gods are idols, right? As the scriptures say, I believe in the book right. of Psalms. Only the most high, you know, and Yahushai deserving of that praise, man. Yep. You know, even the, the saint, you know, telling, uh, was it, telling John to not uh, praise him. Uh, oh, yeah, John the Revelator. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Telling him that only to worship Yahushai and Yahweh. Yep. John, yeah. right. Right. So, uh, Isaiah 45, 22. Look unto me and be ye saved, all the ends of the earth, for I am the power, and there is none else. Right? So again, all the ends of the earth are people being scattered abroad. Right? Verse 23. I have sworn by myself the word has gone out of my mouth in righteousness and shall not return, that unto me every knee shall bow, every tongue shall swear. Right? They will swear, they will confess, they will bow to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Verse 24, surely shall one say in Ha'adawan Yahweh, have I righteousness and strength, even to him shall men come, and all that are incensed against him shall be ashamed. Right? So again, incensed being uh, risen up to anger, right? In Ha'adawan Yahweh shall all the seed of Israel, Yahshua Allah, be justified and shall glory. That's right, man. So the Heavenly Father, right, we are going to glorify Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, right? And His glory will be through the seed of Israel, man, right? And through all the manifestations, all the creations of the earth for that much, right? And the heavens, right? Uh, uh, you know, uh, put that, uh, is it Amos 9 and 11 from the show? And again, right, this is the, we're out here fishing for the elect, right? Pursuant to uh, Jeremiah 16 and 16, right? You know, the fishers shall be turned to hunters, right? So we're out here, uh, the New Testament, our Lord and Savior, speaking of becoming fishers of men, right? And again, those fishers will be turned into hunters. Thus, they're, they're, they're establishing, the, the, they're reestablishing, if you will, right? The tabernacle of David, right? Being risen up here in these latter days. Right. You know, we might as well... Bring it, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start with, um, this is gonna be Amos 9 and verse 8. It says, Behold, the eyes of the Adawan, Yahweh, are upon the sinful kingdom, and I will destroy it from off the face of the earth, saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, said the Adawan, Yahweh, Bashem, mm -hmm. That's right, man. So that's the, the eyes of the Lord are upon this simple kingdom being Babylon America here, man. You know, all the, the sins have reached unto the heavens, man. Mm -hmm. And this place is the most vain, uh, evil place in the world, man. As you see, uh, there's more murders, more everything here than any other place, man. Yep. You know, God. You know the, the filth that, that has polluted uh, the whole earth, man, is, is coming from Babylon, man. Yep. You know? Getting them uh, drunk and off her uh, uh, doctrine, you know, mm -hmm. that That's Western right. culture. Yep. That's right, man. Polluting the whole earth, right? Again, all the enchantments and enticements for our people to go off into sin, mm -hmm. right? Continuously pushing that ABC, one, two, three, alphabet people agenda, mm -hmm. right? On the children, so on and so forth, right? You know, all the atrocities that continue to take place here, man. The continuous defilements uh, of mm -hmm. the food and, and water and yeah, so on yeah, and so yeah. forth, man. That's right, man. That's why there is no healing in Babylon, man. Right? This place is going to be utterly destroyed. Come, come. But again, right? So we're not utterly destroy the house of Jacob. Right? That remnant, the elect, okay, that will be preserved and, and given salvation here mm -hmm. in these latter that's days. Right. That will be delivered out of Babylon, America. That's right. In, in the last day here, man. Mm -hmm. You know, when those missiles are coming to uh, destroy this place, man. Right? Yep. Uh -huh. It says, For lo, I will command and I will sift the house of Israel among all nations, like as corn is sifted in a sieve, yet shall not the least grain fall upon the earth. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. So again, there's a sifting, a great sifting going on here in, in these latter days, right? A sifting for the elect, a sifting for the remnant, right? Different trials and tribulations that are taking place that are uh, ultimately again to to seal the remnant the elect here right sorry while we are still able to do this work right i don't desire lord's will right humbly speaking once again right you know real quick one sec by the way that that sifting man is a is a true uh, fiery trial of our faith man 
you know? It shows who really loves and really, who really fears the other one y'all about shooting y'all shot, man. Yep. So I feel one second. Yeah, that just made me think of a, a precept out of the Apocrypha, I believe it's second Ezra. Con, con, sock it. Go ahead and elaborate, bro. Okay, I'll continue with that. Um, this is. going to be Amos 9 and verse 10. All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword, which say the evil shall not overtake nor prevent us. That's right, man. So those that are eating that prosperity doctrine, man, you know, mm -hmm. those that are uh, enchanted by all the deception out here, mm -hmm. you know, by Esau of Edom, the devil that the Bible speaks of, the deceiver. Yep. That's, That's right, right, man. man. They, they're going to be taken by the sword, man. It's not uh, pestilence. It's, it's not, uh, you know, the famine. It's going to be the sword, man. Yep, kind of. So again, right, they say the evil shall not overtake us nor prevent us, right? They say, oh, it's not going to happen in my lifetime. Mm -hmm. Oh, that ain't going to happen. We ain't going to see that. Maybe my kids will see it. That's right. so, oh, that can't happen. The there's, Lord wouldn't do that. There's not going to be a third world war. There's not going to be, the dollar's not going to be done away with. Yep. Uh, uh, all this stuff, man. They, they constantly uh, uh, say that it's not going to happen in their lifetime, like the brother said, man. Yep. They constantly say that that these words are not going to be found true, man. But yeah. we know that it is going to come to pass, man. Uh, the Lord uh, is not one to life. That's right. That's right. That's right. But let me go back real quick, Baba Gasha, from my Amos 9 uh, and 9, right? That says, yet yeah, the last part of that verse says, you know, talking about the sifting, right? Like as corn is sifted in the seed, yet shall not the least grain fall upon the earth. Right, because again, the remnant, the elect, are going to be required of the heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, pursuant to Second Ezra chapter two and twenty-six. Now it says, "As for the suit, as for the servants whom I have given thee, there shall not one of them perish, for I will require them from among thy number." Right, so they are required. They're predestined from the foundations of the earth. Right, so they will not perish. Right. That's why we understand that some may be martyrs for the suit, God. but. At the end of the day, their their job is going to be fulfilled, man. Yep. You know, each each member is going to have their their part, man. Mm -hmm. You know, their role to play in yep. this thing, man. Yep. And it's all a vital importance yep. according to the will of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. John, it's and a, it's the a, job is going to be fulfilled, man. Yep. Kind of to add on to the brother Banaz's point, um, you know, those who have done the work and labored in the names of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai and have since given up the ghost. You know, those who have died in the names of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, serving the Lord, right? Serving the only begotten Son, okay? They, you know, they are also of that hopeful they number. They will be risen, yeah. Yep, yep. God. That's right. right. As the scripture said, the dead of the dead shall be risen first. You know? yeah. The dead of Yahweh Shai shall be risen first. Roughly yeah. paraphrasing. Yeah. First Corinthians 15 chapter, that's right. God, God, that's right. It's not going to be bad, bro. Continue with that. Uh, this is Amos 9 in verse 11. In that day will I raise up the tabernacle of David that is fallen and close up the breaches thereof and I will raise up his ruins and I will build it as in the old, the days of old. Mm -hmm. That's right, man, right? So we're going to close up the breaches, right? The openings, right? That's okay. right. That's so, right. That full armor, man. We're yep. going to need to be fully armored up, yep. ready, man. And yep. that's having a, a sound mind. That's mm -hmm. having a, a complete uh, doctrine, man, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. There's no holes in this thing, man. It is foolproof. You mm -hmm. know, you have to have the 100% truth. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's right, man. That's right. And that thus uh, continued, you know, the, the teachings of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to continue to what? Fulfill that prophecy, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, real quick, and this was also spoken on in the book of Acts, the book of Acts, chapter 15. And I'm going to start at verse 11 just for more context. Acts, uh, Salakia, 15 and 11. Acts 15 and 11. But we believe. That through the grace of Ha'adawan, Yahweh Shai, Mashiach, who the world ignorantly and unknowingly refers to as Jesus the Christ, say that verbatim, uh, says the grace of the Lord, Ha'adawan, Yahweh Shai, Mashiach, we shall be saved, even as they. Verse 12, then all the multitude kept silence and gave audience to Barnabas and Paul, declaring what miracles and wonders the Most High had wrought, which he had made among the Gentiles by them. And that term Gentiles goes into Israelite foreigners, right? They're the natural Gentiles 
which are those nations that are outside of the nation of Israel, 18 right. biblical nations, right? right? The Heavenly Father has one chosen nation being the nation of Israel. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, right? So again, going back. And that Gentile in the New Testament, speaking of the Israelite foreigners, like the brother said, the, those that have been Hellenized. Yep. God, God, that's right. That's right. So continuing on in verse 13, Acts 15, 13. And after they had held their peace, James answered, saying, Men and brethren, hearken unto me. Simeon hath declared how the Most High at the first did visit the Gentiles to take out of them a people for his name. Right, again, for his holy name's sake, right? It says, And to this agree the words of the prophets as it is written. After this, I will return and will build again the tabernacle of David, which is fallen down. And I will build again the ruins thereof, and I will set it up, that the residue of men might seek after the Lord. Right, the residue of the Israelite man might seek after the Lord, right? That's right. It says, and all the Gentiles, again, the Israelite foreigners, upon whom my name is called, saith the Adawan Yahweh, the that's Lord. Right. Upon whom his name is called. Yep. Right. Yep. So those that have the true names of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh and those that are called by his name as well. Yep. You know, that's between right. uh, the sea line of, of Jacob, man. Yep. The Israelites. That's right. It says, Who doeth all these things? Known unto the Most High are all his works from the beginning of the world. Mm. That's right, man. So again, knowing from the beginning of the world, God. right? God. Going back to that predestination from the God. foundations hey, of the earth. Right. All right. Mm -hmm. Um these things have already been declared from the beginning, you know? Yep. Con. And the end of this thing was declared from the beginning. That's right. So, hey, we're just uh, here in these exciting times, man. Yep. Knowing that we are here at the end, man. Yep. Con. Right. Living at the end of Esau of Edom's reign, right? And the ushering in of the righteous kingdom under our Lord and Savior, our Mashiach Yahweh That's right, man. Right? Hey, man. And, you know, it's beautiful to see the, the tabernacle of David being built up, man, you know? seeing our people uh, wake up, man, mm -hmm. you know, being, uh, uh, you know, remembering ourselves, what is that, in Baruch, mm -hmm. in the, the land of their captivity, they shall remember themselves, yep. and we've, we've seen that thing fulfilled here, man. Mm -hmm. John, John, that's right, man. Let's uh, continue here with, um, this is, uh, Salakia. This is going to be Amos 9 and 12. That they may possess the remnant of Edom and all of the heathen, which are called by my name, said the Adawan, Yahweh Bashim Shai, that does this. That's right. So all those that are called by the name of Yahweh Bashim Shai, talking about the Israelites, man. Yep. Talking about the elect, that remnant, man, mm -hmm. coming to possess the remnant of Edom, man. Yep. So these uh, elites, man, that go into hiding, try to escape, get away, they're going to be the first fruits of captivity, man. Yep. And then the rest of the heathen, man, are going to be a possession. Like in done to, uh, what is that, Isaiah, the 14th chapter. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. Baba Gisha, if I could back that up. Mm -hmm. And I say with the book of Obadiah, and um, obviously one chapter, Obadiah, verse 15. For the day of Adawan Yahweh is near upon all the heathen, as thou hast done. It shall be done unto thee. Thy reward shall return upon thine own head. Right. So uh, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, Haitians, West Indians, right? All the Israelite foreigners serving captivity, facing different atrocities, right? Women and their children being ripped apart, right? Over there in, the, in uh, you know, during the Maccabean revolt and such, right? Greeks and Romans, right? Ripping babies out of the, uh, you know what I mean? Out, out of the, the wombs. Right? Out of a woman's womb here, and you know, all over. All over where we were scattered, right? Different atrocities and just, just to name a few, right? God, God. Yeah, even here in America, man, you know? Yep, feeding absolutely. Feeding our babies to uh, alligators, man. Uh, yep. uh, you know, uh, the slaughtering of, of uh, Gad, you know? Yep. Uh, yep. Whole number of things, right? Reuben uh, and then Tainos, that's you know, right, and, man. and then so on and so forth, that's right? right? So the Northern Tribe. That's right. Mm -hmm. So many different atrocities that have taken place, that continue to take place to this very day. Right? right so continuing on in verse 16 and for as ye have drunken upon my holy mountain so shall all the heathen drink continually yea they shall drink and they shall swallow down and they shall be as though they had not been right, right. and they'll be removed out of that high that uh, high horse knocked off that high horse right 
we're gonna be put in the chains and fetters of iron, God, right? He that leadeth into captivity shall so surely go into captivity. Yep, you that's know? right. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. That's right. There's patience in the faith of the saints. That's right. That's right. So verse 17, but upon Mount Zion shall be deliverance and there shall be holiness and the house of Jacob, speaking of the nation of Israel, shall possess their possessions and the house of Jacob shall be a fire and the house of Joseph a flame and the house of Esau for stubble and they shall kindle in them and devour them and there shall be uh, and there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau. For her Adawan Yahweh has spoken it. The Lord God has spoken it. That the East, the Edomites, right, stemming from the line of Esau of Edom, the self-proclaimed so-called white man, according to the lineage of your father, those that go back to the line of Esau will serve captivity and then will be eradicated from the earth in the kingdom to come. Right? Verse 19. And they of the south shall possess the mount of Esau, and they of the plain of the Philistines, and they shall possess the fields of Ephraim, and the fields of Samaria, and Benjamin shall possess Gilead. That's right, man. So all of those things will be what? Possessions. And they're ultimately done away with, right? Maybe think of um, okay. No, y'all get, y'all get. Uh, Job 20. And... Verse 7 says, Yet he shall perish forever like his own dung. They which have seen him shall say, Where is he? That's right, man. Mm -hmm. And that's the uh, Esau of Edom. Mm -hmm. That's right. Well, the so called white man. Gonna perish forever, man. Like yep. his own dung. Mm -hmm. It says, He shall fly away as a dream and shall not be found. Yeah, he shall be chased away as a vision of the night. Woo! Right, man. Gonna be chased out of here, man, right? Gonna be ran out of town, gonna be driven into that captivity, man. Serve hardcore bondage, right? That's right. Okay, gonna get double that righteous recompense, and then they're gonna be eradicated from the earth. All praises to Yahweh Shimon Mm-hmm. That's right, man. So, hey, man, the, uh, you know, the, the children that are born in the kingdom, man, are, are not gonna know who this damn devil was, man. They're just gonna hear the stories, man, mm -hmm. being passed down. Yep. John. No. That's right. That's right, man. Yeah, that was that was the point there. Okay, John. So did man want to see? We'll what? wrap it up then. John, you want me to uh, read down a little bit further on Amos? Uh, through the spirit. Yeah, uh, if you want to, brother, so good through the spirit. And I'll finish with uh, Amos 9 and 13. It says, Behold, the days come, saith the Arwan, Yahabashim Yahushai, that the plowman shall overtake the reaper and the treader of grapes. Him that soweth seed in the mountains shall drop sweet wine, and all the hills shall melt. The day is coming, man, and then that day is here now, where where the elect, you know, are fishing, man, and they're they're, you know, giving out this this doctrine, man, giving out this gospel unto our people, man. Yeah. You know, but um, you know, we're we're seeking to uh, reap the reward, man, of, of the seeds that we're sowing, and also the harvest, the, the harvesting, man. Yeah. We're praying to be of that that number, man, of that harvest when the reaper. Yahweh Shai comes to, uh, um, you know, come for the harvest. Mm -hmm. John, exactly. Because again, right, we are the plowmen, right? Mm -hmm. They are the reapers. They are reaping the rewards, the benefits of, the, of you know, of the blood, sweat, right? The rape, rob, and pillage of, of our people, man. Mm -hmm. Right? So again, I'm speaking of Esau of Edom and these other heathen nations, right? Uh, God, so that's, yeah, that's the, right. the, the Heavenly Father has it written in the script, right? It's going to flip, right? That's right, man. And that's, uh, uh, you know, that's uh, unrighteous... Uh, you know, decree out here, man. Yep. That we're out here slaving away. Mm -hmm. You know, that these uh, devils are, are ruling over us and reaping all the rewards, man, of the labor that that our people have gone through, man. Yep. Gone. And as it was written aforetime as well, right? A promise, a covenant that was given to our forefathers Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, right? You know, let me, uh, Baba Gesha, let me bring up uh, Leviticus chapter twenty-six and verse three. If you walk in my statutes and keep my commandments and do them, 
Then I will give you rain in due season, and the land shall yield her increase, and the trees of the field shall yield their fruit, and your threshing, which threshing goes into a harvesting as well, shall reach unto the vintage, and the vintage shall reach unto the sowing time, and ye shall eat your bread to the full, and dwell in your land safely. Right, and we're trying to make it back there to the Holy Land, right? We're trying to dwell in that land safely, right? That we may reap the benefits, right? Okay, of being obedient to Yahweh Shem Shai, being able to keep the law, statutes, and commandments in perfection, right? Because of course they're gonna be written in our laws, it, the law, statutes, and commandments will be written in our inward parts, okay, in the kingdom to come, right? And also again, right, having, ha having you know, Work, having slaves, man, right? Having having the, that, them serve that servitude, being the other heathen nations, right? Having them serve bondage, right? So again, man, that promise given a fourth time, and that's what we have to look forward to, right? I don't want to out. And that's going to be the true justice, man, that is going to be bestowed from Yahweh Shem Yahweh man. Yep. Khan. Khan. That's right here. I'll, you want me to finish up? Okay. Okay, yes, yeah, is that. Uh, are you still home? Oh, uh, no, go ahead. Okay, yeah, this is uh, Amos 9 and 14. It says, and I will bring again the captivity of my people, Israel. Right? So that bringing the captivity means bring you out of. That's right. right? So we'll be brought out of captivity because we are very much here in a modern day captivity. Right? So it says, and they shall build the waste cities and inhabit them. And they shall plant vineyards and drink the wine thereof. They shall also make gardens and eat the fruit of them. That's right. So mm -hmm. our people being brought back to the Holy Land, mm -hmm. once it is cleansed, you know, that valley of Yahweh Shepot, mm -hmm. I mean, uh, up there in the Middle East, you yep. know, after the third woe happens, you know, mm -hmm. that is going to be that fire that cleanses the land. Mm -hmm. So our yeah. people are going to yeah. be uh, able to go back and habitate it mm -hmm. and to uh, plant and, and live off the land, man, yeah. in perfect peace, man. Yep. You know, that's the beautiful day that we're looking to. Come. You know the the what does it say? Um, where where goodness is uh, um, oh yeah, uh, like, uh, righteousness is, is made plenty. Uh, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Rest is right, allowed. Oh yeah, rest is all that's in the yeah. book of in fact. Uh, I believe that's in the book of Second Answers. No, it's not yet. Let me go ahead and pull that up real quick for the brother. I believe it's Second Answers chapter four. Uh, slot the one moment. Yeah, a bunch of scriptures popping up in my head right now. Hey, man, that's why. Yahweh Bashim Yahushai is speeding these days up. You know, all those things have to, uh, you know, this thing has to be run its full course in order for that kingdom that we're seeking, man. So each day we have to uh, exercise our patience, man, you know, and, and endure suffering until that reward. Mm hmm. Done. Uh, okay, you know what? The, the water, the water, checking there. But hey, we're we're seeking that yep. that land where rest will be allowed, man. Where righteousness is rewarded. Okay, kind of like guys. Chapter eight. Uh, second Ezra, chapter eight. And let me start at. Uh... Yep. Let me start at verse fifty-one. Now, you know, I'll start at verse 50. Yeah, 2nd Ezra chapter 8, verse 50. For many great miseries shall be done to them that in the latter time shall dwell in the world because they have walked in great pride. God, and this, this uh, God forsaken place, man, has yep. a whole month for your pride, man. Yep. You know, for, uh, you know, to, uh, they relish in that evil, man. Yep. God. That's right, man. So again, the proud, right? The Heavenly Father hates that proud countenance, that proud look, right? Says verse 51, but understand thou for thyself and seek out the glory for such as be like thee. Right, man. So seek like minded individuals. Seek those who, who seek to walk in the spirit to the best of their ability, right? Though we, you know, we're in this flesh, right? So we try to do the best of our ability to to remain in the spirit of Yahweh Shimyal Shai. But the point being, again, continuously seeking out such as be like thee, man. 
-hmm. seeking like-minded individuals, seeking those who, who you know, are, are, are trying to pertain, are, are trying to uh, abound in spirit and things that are spiritual, right? In verse 52, for unto you paradise is opened, the tree of life is planted, speaking of the kingdom, right? The time to come is prepared, plenteousness is made ready, right? So, plenteousness, man, right? A bountiful amount, right? Okay, countless, okay? Because, of course, here you have to scratch and claw and, and fight, you know what I mean? It's a dog fight for everything, man. But again, the, they're all blessing from Yahweh Bashim Shai for the things that we have here in, the, in a carnal sense, right? But again, it, it's still a struggle in that sense, right? Because we're giving up to the curses, right? And we're being tried to the, through the furnace of affliction, the furnace of adversity. Yet we will continuously praise Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai for the chastisements, for the corrections, for the rebukements, and for the blessings, provisions, so on and so forth, man. Always giving praise to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And uh, finishing up in that same verse, uh, 2 Ezra 8.52, a city is built and rest is allowed, right? A city is built, speaking of the kingdom, right? And rest is allowed because as the scriptures say, this is not the land of our rest. This is the land of our captivity. This is a land where we are to serve a punishment. That's it. Yea, perfect goodness and wisdom. Perfect goodness, perfected by Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, right? Perfect goodness and wisdom because this truth will abound and there will be none other, right? There will be no other doctrines. There will be no no falsehoods, right? Because Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah's word and the ways thereof, the law, statutes, and commandments are going to reign supreme, if you will, right? For a lack of a better term. Okay? Uh, so, God. and uh, why don't you go ahead and finish at uh, 50, 54, or I can go ahead and grab it. Okay, cut. Let's go. Second Ezra 8 and 53. Mm -hmm. The root of evil is sealed up from you. The weakness in the moth is hid from you. And corruption is fled into hell to be forgotten. That's, That's right. right. And that, that even has the annotation there of the grave. Yep. Hell. God. Hell That's is the grave, man. That's right. Uh, death. That's right. Hell is a condition. It means the pit, a grave, right? Those who believe in that quote unquote hell doctrine, right, or teaching that, right, are not in the true wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of Yahweh Bashim El Shai. There is no eternal damnation of hellfire. There is no, uh, you know, damn red devil with a suit down there, a goddamn triton, a pitchfork, right? Nah, none of that. That's all. That's all. That goes back to Hades, right? That goes back to different idol worship, right? And, and Greek mythology and Roman mythology and so on and so forth, right? That's all bullshit, to say it bluntly. On the uh, right. the point here being uh, that the evil is going to be sealed up, the weakness, you yep. know, because we're going to be put in those uh, celestial bodies, man. Yep, you that's know, right. we're going to be uh, uh, put in those immortal bodies. That's right, know? man. Great power. That's strength, right, man. The root of evil is sealed up, right? Mm -hmm. The where it cannot even think that, man, it cannot even imagine going off like that, mm -hmm. right? That's okay, right, man. all the all the lusts of the flesh here in Babylon, America, and in the world, in this life, right? We are not going to have those thoughts. Man. And the moth is it for me because yep. uh, Esau is going to be put away with, man. Yep. He's going to be done. That's right. And and what does the scripture all say, right? This more mortality must put on immortality, right? right. So we are not going to fade away, even in a carnal fleshly sense, God, right? There could be no illness. There's going to be no aging in that sense, right? God. Okay. That's right. It says out uh, here. And, Verse 54, sorrows are past, and in the end, it showed the treasure of immortality. Woo. That's right, man. So just like in uh, Revelation, what is it, 21, that speaks of, uh, um, you know, yep. uh, there shall be no more uh, no more tears, yep. no more yep. sorrows. That's right. For, uh, that's right. for the former things have passed away. Yep. God. That's right, man. So that's what we're waiting for, man. God, absolutely, man. Part so, of that change. Yep. That's right, man. The treasure of immortality, right? Those are the true riches, mm -hmm. right? Uh, I'll finish, and I'll go ahead and finish up here, and maybe we'll wrap it up after. In the, it's the book of uh, Amos, chapter 9, and verse 15. And I will plant them, speaking upon uh, the remnant the elect, first and foremost, speaking upon Israel, and I will plant them upon their land, going back to the Holy Land. And they shall no more be pulled up out of their land, which I have given them. Say of Adawan Yahweh, thy power. That's right, man. So the Heavenly Father is going to be the one to give that, right? So again, and that speaks against that flea doctrine as well, right? 
you can't just simply oh i'm gonna go ahead and move over to to the state of israel and that'll fulfill biblical prophecy no that's not it all right y'all bashing y'all shy is gonna plant us there I don't want to humbly speaking, that we be of that number, as well as the like-minded brethren and, and the Akiawat, the brothers and sisters, right? Okay, the Akiam and the Akiawat, the, the, the true, sincere, genuine believers of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh followers of the Lamb, with us wherever he going, all right? So, uh, you know, to the water, to, to all the brothers and sisters that may tune in, yep. you know, Lord willing, this blessing has been uh, edifying to the body, and, uh, you know, and a boost to the faith. Yep. We gotta continue to keep pushing, keep seeking that righteous kingdom, man. Right? You know, more and more so in these latter days, man, to have that, that hope and that expectation. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we'd like to uh, face these, close out by giving all honor, glory, and praise to our power. Yahweh, And once again, double honors to the elder apostles, bishops, great missiles, which we will teach well, tell them all to the like minded brethren, teaching the truth and sincerity. Pushing on one accord, and Shalom also to the hopeful elect, the remnant that is seeking repentance and salvation in the names of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai in these latter days. Peace be unto you in your households. Right, Shalom Yahweh Hashem Yahushai brought the thumb. Yahweh Hashem Yahushai brought the thumb to all the brothers and sisters out there. Shalom, Shalom, keep fighting the good fight of faith. That's right. Peace and many blessings. Barakiyam Tham Yad, as always. That's right. So, right. to uh, curse upon this place before we leave. Abba, Abba, DTA, so, Kwame Asherala. That's right. Shalom. 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 Shalom.